Oxbridge, it t lets them take their mind off what they're going through. And uh, our community in Oxbridge has been fantastic. Um, everyone's rallying around. You know, I would, I would hope that in my community, if I was going through something similar, I would hope that they would rally around for me. And uh, it's a great family. Jill and Joe have been awesome. And uh, no one deserves to go through what they're going through right now. But, you know, we're here to support it. I live right around the corner from us, and uh, Jake's been through uh, four brain operations for cancer, and uh, he's still fighting it, and uh, we're all here to support him. Because I know Josh Dolan, and he's the best, and he made this whole thing happen. He's amazing. Now, uh, I got to meet uh, the good Chris Curry. Is, uh, the greatest over 20, then over 30, then over 40, then over 50, and now over 60 hockey player. He's a goaltender that just loves the game more than life itself. And his son and Jake are, are our best friends. And uh, they let me know about uh, the fight that the Gallerani family was uh, going through. And uh, I fell in love with a, a family that I didn't know. And uh, Jake has the biggest heart on the planet. And, um, you know, their life's flipped upside down and they're going through hell. And uh, people like you with big hearts do things like this and get a bunch of the best comedians on the planet to get their ass kicked by the Boston Bruins alumni for money. So, uh, it's, you know, it's, 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 why, uh, it's why America is the greatest place on the planet because people really still truly care about children who are in their families that, that are having the struggles that they're having. You know what the big thing was, was that we raised some money for Jake tonight at the Boston Bruins alumni game versus the Boston Comedy All-Stars. I noticed that you got in a fight versus Mark Riley. You should have just messed his hair. He would have he went down quite easily. All right, You see his hair didn't even move the whole game. <laughs> Cutting. Josh swinging away. It's like he's throwing a beach towel at him on a hot day in Duxbury Beach. Trying to wave that off. Finally, they grapple here. Riley goes down. Josh fell down. We're going to have matching minors here now. Boston Comedy All Stars penalty at number zero, Mark Riley. Two minutes for delay of game. Boston Comedy All Stars penalty at number four, Josh Dolan. Two minutes for turtling. I'm here with comedian Mark Riley. We uh, we had a fight in the middle of the game, but um, we we settled it over a couple of beers in the locker room, and uh, it was. Uh, he wouldn't let me take the face off, but uh, that, that's not what the game was about. It was about Jake Gallerani and the, uh, the, the cause and uh, just how was it being out there with uh, some of your idols and, you know, your fellow comedians? It was, uh, it was good. I had to fight you because Shoebot wouldn't go with me again. So, um, and I just want to point out you lost uh, to a guy wearing pink socks. So, uh, no, it was a lot of fun. It was good. Uh, it was a lot of fun. My back's been hurting for a while, but... Uh, Nothing makes it feel better than going out there with some of your boyhood idols. So it was fun. It was a good time. Yeah, and uh, just for the record, I slipped on your pink sock because it came off. So that. <laughs> and uh, we'll, go with that. we'll go with that. You slipped on the pink sock. I'm just gonna go get hammered now. That's not gonna make it into the final thing because I, I get to edit this. So it's uh, it's, it's good. Um, it's a, hey, Bob Sweeney's here. How did the game go today? I think we would have won if there was a third period. <laughs> Hockey, there's only two halves. I had no idea. Yeah. You know what? You, you guys you might have had a better game. chance if you didn't order pizza. You know what? Bruins lead 11 to 6. Time out. Hold on. We got a pizza delivery here. Hold on. What's going on here? Domino's. Okay, hold on. First of all, the viewers will be wearing a helmet. Okay? Second of all, Temple. Hey, check your living at Josh Temple. Did you get a tip there? Thank you very much, Josh. There's more pizzas there. I'm sure you'll give you all meat one to Tony B. If, order if, pizza. if you, you didn't order pizza, if right? you didn't hook me, maybe they're. I, I have a question. What about the vicious no call on the trip in front of the net? That was, you know what? Anything goes in front of the net. 
You gotta do that. You gotta do that. It's an alligator wrestling lane. Great job, guys. They're organizing the game. It was awesome. Uh, it was actually comical, no pun intended, seeing Tommy, uh, t excuse me, Tony V in the net. Uh, I applaud him. Playing goal is no easy task. That equipment's heavy. It's hard to get in there, especially against us knucklehead shooting on him. So. We do it uh, 35 times a year, as you know, around New England. And, uh, you know, every game we don't know what to expect, but we always have fun. You know, some are more competitive than others. Thank you for not being so competitive tonight. <laughs> I'm sore from playing last week. I was up in Canada playing in a charity thing. We played four games in one day, so my back's still killing me. So. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. But we uh, we always enjoy it. We, As you know, we have about 25 guys who are, uh, on our lineup. And any given game, it could be a different guy. You know, like we got guys like O'Reilly always hitting from behind. Uh, you probably noticed that uh, out there tonight. Did he hit you from behind, too? I, I, I didn't take any numbers, no, so I don't no. know who it was. No, he hit Al B. I think he heard Al B. But, uh, him. We have <laughs> and I almost took out my idol, Terry O'Reilly. I almost killed Terry O'Reilly because I had a bad back tonight. But alas, he's alive, and uh, he's, he's, uh, he'll lift to play another alumni game another day. Simonetti slid it ahead for Carter. John Carter leaves it for Crowder. Bruce Crowder, they pull the goalie. They're changing goalies midstream. Now here's Carter on an empty net side front by Josh Dahl and he fell down as they changed goalies in midstream. Beautiful job. Chris Curry now the goalie. Again, questionable coaching. We will have a breathalyzer for Pete Costello and Matt Kona at the intermission and also the league called you have to submit a sample. Changing goalies in mid-rush. No, uh, the Bruins alumni, uh, first and foremost, hockey players, uh, ask anyone, they're the most giving, uh, they'll always stay for the autographs, and the first one's here, the last one's to leave, so, uh, you know, Ricky, Middleton, you get Terry O'Reilly, you get Cod, all those guys, uh, you know, Dave Shaw, you know, my idol's growing up, so when you get to get checked and hit elbowed in the face by them, you feel proud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, it's definitely, uh, football was... Uh, it, you know what I did for a living for a while, but actually I was a hockey player long before I was a football player as a kid growing up So yeah, so it's kind of like riding a bike I just have to kind of get the legs back and the hands back But it's uh, it's now it's my biggest hobby. It's the only thing I can really do without my body taking a major beating I was a plus four tonight Even though we lost, all I care about is my plus minus Plus four Make sure it's one two, huh? Well, you know, as far as the alumni, we do a lot of these games. It could be for causes like this today. It could be for, you know, mass down syndrome, what we did a couple weeks ago. Uh, very similar. We we always do stuff for mainly children's charities, whether it's the foundation, the alumni. And the bottom line is we try to raise as much money for each and individual charity, and hopefully today was no different. Well, you know what? Uh, normally when I play in a couple of the, you know, uh, games for charity and things of that nature, I, I always play with the Bruins alumni. I'm kind of like, you know, a guest every now and then. They need a guy. They call me up from the minors. And I always have a uh, – it's always a pleasure to play with those guys. A lot of those guys as a kid growing up, you remember. Um, and, you know, so for me, it's I, – I just love the fact that I can say, you know, you're out there, you're playing against guys like Terry O'Reilly, LB, Bob Sweeney, nifty guys that you knew, that you watched play the sport. Um, and, you know, for me as a fan, a sport that I love to watch and then to go out there and play. The comedians, I learned some knock-knock jokes. <laughs> you know, I, I really admire what comedians do. Uh, for me, I remember as a kid growing up, I think it was... Uh, Eddie Murphy Raw, I remember seeing that. That was like, you know, one of those things as a kid. You, So I've always been a fan of, like, you know, comics and comedy movies are, like, some of my favorite. And I know, um, you know, I know some of the guys have done some stuff, uh, some of the movies locally. And, you know, I'm just waiting for uh, Dumber and Dumber 3 or whatever it is. Maybe I can get a cameo in it. <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll see. I could be Seabass's cousin, you know what I mean? <laughs> Figure something. We'll come up with another name, you know? Like Shoot Bass or something. <laughs>
man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> that's one question I don't know if I want an answer. Are we on ice or are we on dry land? <laughs> if we're on ice, I don't want to fight neither one of those guys. But if we're on dry land, I probably don't want to fight none of them. Um, I'll tell you what, that's a tough one. <laughs> I think I would probably go with... Um, can I fight Rick Middleton? <laughs> no, he's the lady big winner. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I, I probably... I, Man, that's a question. I, 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 don't, I can't answer that one, but if I, I got to answer it, so I have to. It's, I'd probably fight LB. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he seems like he's a little bit more reserved right now. A little less crazy? Yeah, like, Shu seems like he still has it, but LB yeah. seems like he's a little bit more reserved, and he's calmed down a lot. So <laughs> maybe I can get a run for my money there.